Lobby Tools, Florida's legislative intelligence company. Subscribe today to Florida's leading policy, budget, and campaign tracking service. Request a free trial today at LobbyTools.com. The Florida Education Association is pinning its hope on rallying teachers and parents across the state to push lawmakers to pump more than two billion new dollars into education next year. Give us what we need to take care of these kids. Give us what we need uh, so that we can stay in this profession. And it's not just a one-year ask, but for 22 billion over 10 years. In addition to touring the state in this bus, the teachers are calling for a massive rally at the state capitol the day before the legislative session begins. It won't be the first time. In 2009, thousands of teachers brought more than two million pennies as they pushed for a sales tax increase for schools. Enough is enough. In the following years, thousands more teachers marched for better schools. Each time, lawmakers did little. Let's hold them accountable. So we asked what would be different this time. And we're fighting for kids every day. That is what's different. And the pressure that they're going to see is going to be bigger, broader, and more comprehensive than we've seen in the modern history of the state of Florida. Teachers are quitting at record rates, often after just a year or two. Missy Rudd retired in June. She says many can't make ends meet. It's frustrating when we have to get a second or a third job or when you get an email from a team teacher that says, hey, I've got this side business, can you come support me? The governor is proposing raising starting teacher salaries to 47.5, but the union says it needs a billion to give every teacher a raise. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm Mike Massalinda.